Now, people everywhere are gearing up for a busy week of holiday travel. And as our own Zach Anders found out today, well, the changes in forecast have also thrown a big wrench into a lot of people's plans. Zach? Wouldn't be the start of the holidays without a little bit of stress, right? The AAA tells us that about a million people are expected to travel for this holiday, and many of them are going to be hitting the roads, but our friend Mother Nature has decided to throw a wrench in some of our plans. Spared from snow in Portland, but start driving south, and it's going to be a different story. So Monday, some travelers made some last-minute changes. When I woke up this morning, I looked at the weather and I was already seeing that it was starting to be a problem. Chelsea Bernhard left work early today to get ahead of the storm. And I saw that there was the like record winds that are supposed to be happening. So I called my work and I told them, you know, I have a nine month old son. It's probably a better idea to get down there as soon as possible. And they're not the only ones changing their plans. All right. Well, I love you, Mom. Kelly Lawfer lives in Beaverton. Her mom, Lynn, rented an SUV this week so she could drive up here from her home in Northern California for Thanksgiving. But the forecast changed her mind. I'm super sad that I'm not going to be able to be there and spend time with you and Chris and Marcus. And I hope to be able to do it next year. That's my plan. She's afraid to drive over the passes. It's now the second year in a row the family was unable to get together for Thanksgiving. She tried to come up last year and um, the fires were in paradise um, down there. And so um, things were just so chaotic in that area. November weather has been pretty calm so far, but it's all about to change. The Fox 12 weather team is calling for what could be historic wind and snow late Tuesday night along the Oregon-California border. That was enough to make those carrying precious cargo think twice about this journey. Picking up another friend that has a baby too, so we're going to have a very full car road. Yeah, hopefully with the baby, it won't be as much crying. Two babies together in a car, that sounds like it's going to be quite the road trip. Right about a minute before we went live here too, it started to rain and it's coming down pretty hard. I can tell you right now, it feels like it's cold enough. It's just right on that edge. It feels like it could really start to turn to snow. So I don't know. Well, we did have a chance to stay in touch with Chelsea as they're doing that road trip. They're just about to hit the pass. They're getting close to the border. Hopefully we'll hear an update and see how uh, the conditions are for them as they continue their road trip into Northern California. Reporting live in Washington County tonight, Zach Anders, Fox 12 Oregon.